then it will give us really good advice now. Clear? So when this is the situation, then we say g of x is not uh, something that is having one value. It's a function. And function can have many values. So we say that let x of i are the zeros are the zeros of g of x like g of x is a function it may have one root two root three root whatever it is it depends on a function what kind of a function it is so it will have so many roots there let's say x of i are actually the roots of g of x then we will assume that u of u defined is that this is equal to g of x then what about du this implies du is equal to dg over dx into dx right you can write like this du by dx is equal to dg by dx then let dx you move here so this is a way to do it like differential of this is equal to the differential of g and then the differential of x as well because this x can be uh, anything so i can write that from here what about dx dx will be equal to du divided by dg over dx and this one hopefully you know have you seen such a relation in your mathematical methods of physics hmm. If you have studied mathematical methods of physics, Jarjokan, then this one is called the Jacobian. This is essentially the Jacobian. No? You heard the name for the first time? Yes. Okay. Jacob, Jacob means? Jacob. Right, so it's the name of a prophet. Was it his own name? Jacob, Yaqub. Yes, his name was actually Israel. But this was, you can say, the title or the tahallus or the name which was given to him by the people. You know this? In Holy Quran, we are also having this name as Yaqub. We are also having this name as Israel, Bani Israel, right? So Israel is actually his uh, is his actual name. Yaqub is the title name, which we call Tahallus or the name given by the people. And you know what is meant by Yaqub? No. आपने तो कभी यूज किया होगा ये अकबी दरवाजा है अकब नैन काबे जो पिछले साइड हो यानी अकबी दरवाजा पीछे जो हो ठीक है उसे अकब कहते हैं असल में जो जो बच्चे ट्विन पैदा होते हैं तो उनमें से जाहिर एक पहले आएगा एक बाद में आएगा तो याकूब अलैहिस्सलाम चूंकि बाद में आए थे इसलिए उन्हें याकूब कहते थे कि ये चूंकि ट्वेन ये ट्वेन पैदा हुए थे तो उनमें से चूंकि ये बाद में आए थे तो इसको इस वजह से याकूब कहते थे तो ये इसकी वजह से इनका नाम पड़ गया तो वैसे उनका अपना नाम इसराइल था बनी इसराइल इज एक्चुअली आफ्टर हेम ओके सो जेकोबियन जेकोबियन बी यूज इन मैथमेटिकल मैथिक्स ऑफ फिजिक्स सब 
Number six, we will count in this one that how to deal with such a situation in which we will have uh, our domain is a function. So I can write that integral dx. Now you will be a bit unfamiliar with this notation that is we write integral we write dx. Normally we write some function and then at the end dx. But as you will go on with the Jackson, you will get used to this notation that uh, over here things are done like this. In this notation, this is delta g of x and this is f of x and this is equal to what I can write for dx. For dx, I can write du. And then I can write delta of u because u is equal to g of x. And then I can write f of x, but x is a function of u because this is a function of u. And then 1 over dg over dx. Can I write like this? Because for dx I can write du over this one. So I moved it here. And then delta of gx, so gx I will write u. So delta u. And then this is f of x, but x is also a function of u. So I can write this one is, this I will write is it absolute value so that it shouldn't produce plus minus sign. Then this thing is equal to I can write this is summation on i and f of x i because all the roots will come in here divide by dg over dx Absolute. Now, what it will give us? This is a function. So the domain will come in here. So what are actually the zeros of this one? The zeros of u are actually means the zeros of g of x are xi. So it will be x1, x2, whatever it is they are. So they and then it will be divided by this factor. Okay? What this will be equal to? From here, what you get from here? This is f of a. Clear? What is a? A was the first zero of x. Because this was x minus a equal to 0, this equation was giving only one root, which was x equal to a. So we wrote f of a. Now our domain is not a single valued thing. It has many values, many zeros. So it will be f of all those zeros. So it is f of all those xi. Because xi are the zeros of g of x. Now your domain is not a single value function, it's a function, complete function. How many values it will have? It will depend on the function. So it will have all f of a's, like if this was like for example x equal to plus minus a, then plus a was one value, minus a was another value. So now it will be equal to f of this divided by whole this function. So now x is not a single value, it is having many values. xi are the zeros of g of x. So that's why we write f of xi. And we will sum up all of them, yes. Sir, I'm confused how is x the function of u? U is a function of x. Yes, it's the same. It's both they are right. You see, u is a function of g of x means u is g of x 
so x is automatically depending on u as well here i write f of x for example if i write f of x then only f of x so what i will write what i will write if i write for x from here what i can write for x it will be u by g of x means this you cannot remove this one from it but u is a function of x so x is a function of u as well means both are variables they are interdependent variable they are related variable so you say this is a function of this so it means with the value of x the u value is changing so they are the variables like you say y is equal to the function of x y equal to f of x so x is then a function of y as well because y value is depending on x so they are intervariables now if i means i can't do like this to write for x here to write for x here then it is u by g now i can't write like this because x is the domain of it so it will be the function of it and this will be equal to all the zeros of f divided by this way now it is uh, really hard to understand this thing so we will try to solve an example on this one and then you will understand then how this thing is equal let's say we are having to evaluate evaluate delta means from minus infinity to plus infinity and dx delta x squared minus a squared and here is x squared this is the delta function and now its domain is not x minus a but x squared minus a means it's a function itself and this is the function how to evaluate such a delta function we will use the jacobi now let's say what is g of x here g of x here is x square minus a square so what we say that when g of x will be equal to 0 g of x equal to 0 implies x is equal to plus minus a clear and now what about g prime of x means the derivative of g prime with respect to x it will be 2x okay so by putting this value g prime of x will be equal to plus minus 2a right by putting the value of x equal to this now i can write that this thing is equal to summation on i because this thing will be equal to summation on i so i will write that this thing which is minus infinity to this delta x square minus this is summation on i and f of x i so what is f of x x squared x squared so it will be x i squared clear because all the i's of this one divided by dg over dx it is equal to 2x right because this is dg over dx now this thing is equal to 
What about x1? Because this will be equal to x1 square plus x2 square. This is x1 is equal to a, x2 is equal to minus a. Right? So I can write this one. That this is x1 square by 2x plus x2 square by 2x. And now putting the values, x1 is a square divided by 2a plus a square by 2a and this is equal to 2a square by 2a. This is equal to a. Right? Yes. Because all I, I will consider, our x is having only two values. So only two expressions are here. And then for the x1, x1 value is plus a, x2 value is minus a. It is a is a square, so plus minus is not making any difference. a square by 2a, a square by 2a, and this is equal to a. So, this means, this means that, this means that delta x square minus a square is equal to 1 over 2a delta x minus a plus delta x plus And you will have to think on this, why this is like this. Like x squared minus a squared, you can write x squared minus a squared, x plus a and x minus a. And they are differentiated, they are split in the form of delta like this. So by using this Jacobian, you can prove this relation that how this thing, this is equal to this. After solution, we are expand the term up to the second x1 and x2. Why? We can expand it up to n terms. That is general terms. Yes. Then why we expand up to Because our function is only having two roots. Right? Yes. So we will expand up to the roots only. There are no roots, so not to expand. Clear? Yes. Okay. And there is a three-dimensional data function, so hopefully we will do it tomorrow. Yes. Uh, and then some more as well but this was just to a refresher course that you should get acquainted with uh, Jackson notation and now you will enter into a bit rough and tough mathematics sometime means an instant come that one thinks that where is the electrodynamics because you will just stuck in mathematics more than electrodynamics. So it is always, you can say, feeling good to stuck in mathematics, you don't know where you are. But you uh, are not supposed to lose your map. Your map should be in your mind. That why we were doing all this, we actually were doing all this in order to take a point charge out of the collection of charges. We started from a point charge. We moved to a distribution of charge. And then from the distribution of charge, we will take one charge. 
right? And this is one of the mathematical tools with the help of which we can 